on the menu today probably my favorite type of lamb curry this is methi a methi curry methi is a beautiful spice we use some dried methi in this it's a very strong pungent distinctive flavor from that herb absolutely delicious i'm using some pretty low quality lamb there or mutton but we're going to slow cook it and it's now super super tender and soft and delicious let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need so let's take a look at the ingredients that we're going to be using today at the back i've got lamb or mutton there's some bones in there a little bit of fat i like that it kind of works for that i don't want it too lean i've got one large onion there about three tomatoes here try and use a nice juicy ripe tomato and then let's take a look at the front row fresh chili you can put it pretty much put in as much as you like really and i'm putting in mine in whole chop them if you want garlic ginger paste turmeric chili powder coriander powder cumin powder here i've got some dried red chili again same with that one the fresh put in as much or as little as you like i've got two decent sized ones there and then i've got maybe six i think one two three four five six green cardamom pods now this is the main ingredient here well apart from the meat that is this is methi or fenugreek dried fenugreek leaves so that's got a really pungent flavor to it it's gonna you know really kind of very distinctive so we're gonna start off with some oil add a bit of salt maybe a couple of other bits let's get to the cooker by the way all of the amounts of everything are gonna be in the text below for you so let's get started I've got my pan or whatever I'm using this wok today and I've got in there some oil I'm using a sunflower oil now there's quite a lot of oil there I get accused of using a lot of oil I think maybe I do use less if you want but I actually want quite a lot of oil in this one let's start off by dropping in the dried red chili and the green cardamom and I want to just cook them in that oil for about one minute you know 60 90 seconds I want them to do their thing and really infuse that oil see in a moment so a very important part of nearly every curry or masala is to do this please don't skip it it's really important but before they start popping let's get in our meat now what I'd like to do now is cook our meat for about five or six minutes on a high heat just to get it started this is actually going to take quite a long time to cook this one it's a bit of a, a slow cooker but the end result is fabulous see you in about five or six minutes okay so as you can see and hear we've browned this meat nicely still a long way to go at this point we're going to add in our onion I'm going to add a little bit of salt and we're going to go for another four to five minutes this is going to be absolutely wonderful Okay, next up, let's get in our garlic ginger paste. Garlic ginger paste is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. We're going to get in our fresh chili. I'm keeping mine whole, chop them if you want, and the amount, like I say, is up to you. Just give us a little mix before the next step. We're now going to add in four spices, cumin, coriander, turmeric and chili powder. They're all equal parts. If you wanted, you could just use a curry powder you have, but I always find the separate ones to work out just a bit better. Unless you've just made yourself an amazing homemade roasted curry powder. 
So as the spices go through this and give, a, give off that familiar colour, keep it moving now. We're staying on this high heat, by the way. We're now going to add in our tomato. Like I said, try and use a nice ripe, juicy tomato. And we're going to add some cold water. There's about 400 ml of water there. We may be adding more. I'm going to pop the lid on this and keep it on the high heat for about six or seven minutes. No need to touch it now, just let it do its thing. Okay, let's jump in and take a look. Let's get the lid off and the steam out for you. And as you can see, those tomatoes are really starting to break down and we've given it a really nice big blast on the high heat. I'm now gonna add a little bit more water. It needs a bit more in there. Now we're gonna add in now methy or dried methy. Now what you do with methy is put it in your hand and give it a rub. Rub it around and break it down. It's a very, very, very distinctive flavor. I love it. Just break it all in there. Delicious. I'm gonna give that a little stirring. Then what we're gonna do is pop a lid on this. Lower the heat to a simmer. And this is going to go for like 30 to 40 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. If it steams out too much, you might want to add a little bit more water, but we'll see. But that is absolutely wonderful. Lid on, heat right down. I've seen about half an hour. Okay, that's it. Off goes the heat. Off comes the lid. Let's have a look. And that is looking beautiful. Really beautiful, I love that. I'm gonna finish this off with a nice big pinch of garam masala powder, which is a beautiful finishing spice. Fresh cilantro or coriander. And that's it, get your rice ready, that is beautiful. It's gonna be super tender, super tasty. I can't wait to eat this. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Say hello in the comments. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love.